guys you join me here snow 86 and we are back on valley spring so today as you can see we have a tanker on the back so we have one load already loaded up and we are getting ready to head to our new grass field 170 um, we're going to get there and oh, if we can get out of here such a tight area and um, we're going to get there we're going to spread some story guys and um, as you can see the canola looks pretty ripe there in front of me so we're not far off being ready for harvest now we do have a drop of rain coming shortly so we're going to get this manure on and we might even attempt to spray the weeds in the grass fields my windscreen is so dirty i really do need to pick up a a power washer at some stage so we we'll just roll into the grass field here and we'll turn on our tanker And away we go guys so this will be the spread on this field we have no spread on the other field so that's been working in um, we have to wait for the lime on this field to work its way into the ground and I think it has now so we're out here now spreading manure so if I just bring up the menu you'll see I think we're doing an okay job she is roaring I think it's a wheel spin is what we're suffering from so we'll try to dip locks, see if that uh, get us anywhere. Yeah, we have busy time coming on the farm, so we just gotta get these grass fields done as quick as we can. Um, and then we are harvesting canola guys, so that will be the next episode. This one we're just going to work on the grass fields. As I say, there is a drop of rain coming. I wonder if I back off the trot a little bit, maybe. Change a cog might help the job as well. Yeah, we really need to wash the windows of our tractor because, yeah, it's getting quite hard now to see out of this. So that's something we're definitely going to have to do and she's probably doing inspection hopefully after harvest and um, we'll you give it an inspection hopefully that will uh, pay dividends first but at the moment we're just spreading manure guys nice and simple the cows still have enough feed so we should be able to carry them for another couple of days as well before we really need to start thinking about it and wait a bit of luck the other pasture might have grown enough that we can actually start fencing it. As you can see, we're up to 15,000. Um, selling milk is really, as I thought, it, as I kind of knew it would be, selling milk is turning out to be quite profitable for us. So, um, sells every night. And I think this will be more or less our load. Yeah, sells every night. I think we're making about 4,000 a day off it, so um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth doing. And that is us empty. So we'll grab a gear, we'll head back to the farm. Yeah, we're going to have to wash this tractor before we start harvest. I can't, can't keep playing like that, can I? It's pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, this field is looking pretty good, I think, for nitrogen. We don't need to add any more to it. Um, no, we're not expecting the best yield in the world from our canola because um, we're missing a few bits on it. The lime isn't quite right and all that other stuff. So, um, can we make this turn? Just about. And I think we can turn here in the yard, I'm hoping. Thing is so tight so that should see us out there and then quick lock get her backed in where I think we're a little bit far away so we need to be about there I think jump back here connect our hoses oh we're a mile away 
think I'd know by now where we need to be. So that's probably a bit more like it. The wheel in line with kind of the post of the shed. I think we're pretty good there. Can we now pick up our holes? We cannot. We're too far. Are we? I wonder if I do super strength, just give me the head of the hose and then we can turn it back off, connect, and nope, that is store hose, there, attach hose, have to be careful not to hit the store button because that will throw the hose up on the side of the tanker and that can be quite off putting, but we'll start our PTO, get our pump going, You should see here on the old fill gauge, there we go. So it is slowly, slowly going up, guys. But we should have more than enough uh, slurry to finish the field. Um, as you can see, they have bared us, but they have plenty of food in the trough and water as well. So we're okay there, but as I say, I think something we might attempt to do is put another pasture in the small field up the back. Um, that will give this field here a chance to recover, because at the moment it is getting hammered. So we will look into that. And that's us full. So we'll jump around here, disconnect our hose. In we go, and we're back to the field. Yep. I think we're always going to clip something coming out of there. So you see, it's early in the morning, guys. We have plenty to do. So we just got to crack on and get it done as best we can. So we're just going to drop down the cog again because we didn't like it last time. We'll jump external. Uh, where do we need to be? Somewhere here. We'll just pass another bit on the headland as we're going. Give ourselves a bit more space to turn as well. And that need to be there somewhere. Yeah, she just doesn't like it. A lot of slip, a lot of weight there. But uh, yeah, we're getting the manure on. And while we're here, we might just attempt to do a headland on the top side to give us again a bit more space just to turn. We'll make our life a little bit easier in the long run. A little bit of water there, so must have had rain overnight because there's a little cooler water on the road and that would explain why all of a sudden we are just lacking traction in a big big way so we we'll head back down this side we'll spread the last bit of this tanker and as I say hopefully one more tank should see us Hopefully, you should see us out. So, not sure why it does that, but you see one lapse there, one pass there wasn't quite the best, but this one then seems to be throwing it out just a little bit stronger. As you can see the weeds are pretty strong so we gotta take care of that. 
so that we can again maximize our yield and really store this stuff then to feed for cattle. Uh, and I think we might even get into the stage where we mightn't have to do a whole pile of silage bales anymore. If the cows can keep producing that kind of milk, I think we'll be in for a good standing. So what we have, we can sell, I think we have about two loads, so 34 odd bales, so we can sell that and um, yeah, really, really kind of start taking on from there then guys. I think if it's possible, actually we'll probably just bail out here because we we'll, we'll have to get a load anyway and we're at the right end of the field cars. So, we'll jump out. But definitely I think a power washer is in need. Do we did we get one? Don't think we did. If we have one it's gonna be quite embarrassing that uh, we haven't used it yet. Turn. Should everything just about fits, but as I say, it is just all so tight at the same time. Somewhere there, maybe this time. Let's see how we're looking. I think we're a little bit far away, but we'll see. Nope. Got it in what? So we'll get our pump going. Don't know why she decided she wanted to roll. Oh, that's probably the hose actually pulling. Yeah, it's probably looking a bit better, but um, yeah, we have still 50,000 liters of slurry. So we're doing okay, guys. As I say, it's just a case of spreading. So we are going to get this load out, guys, and we'll be back later in the day. Um, we'll be back later in the day, guys, and yeah, we'll be spreading some uh, herbicide on our weeds and our grass fields, just trying to keep it under control. So we're going to get this load out, and yeah, we'll be back then later in the day with some spraying. See you in a bit. We are back, guys. So we've got a couple of pieces done off screen, and we are back for this one now. Bear with me.
free as of now for these things to be harvest to be canola harvest um, yeah we'll have to get cracking on that there pretty soon but for now we will all go away we'll have it all sprayed um, and we say the cows will be good we might even stick a pasture in up as I say on the small piece behind where we're storing the harvester that we're getting close to ready and we can then move the cows up there get them over that pasture and let that recover a little bit and then if we need to we can always try and get the cows back in um, back into that original pasture just before winter maybe uh, and then we'll get them back in the shed so it'll be a fair kind of combination of moving animals around but I think the farm does need a second pasture where then probably won't be big enough to solve all of our issues with grass but hopefully we will see us uh, go a long way to using those concerns at the same time so we are done guys we are done so we we'll just pull up here by the canola fields and Surprise, surprise, guys. We bought ourselves a power washer. So, desperately needed. The windows of the tractor were absolutely walking. So, just shut that down. So, we just jump out here. Yeah, it's looking pretty right to me. Now, we do have a little bit of weather coming. Where is the weather? So, from 10, 12 to 1. So if we were going to go harvesting, it would be this evening, but realistically, I can think... Oh, look at that, July 2nd wet as well. And July 3rd wet. Wow. So yeah, we might attempt to go harvesting there at 4 or 5 o'clock this evening. We will pull the harvester out, get things prepped. And yeah, because once it starts raining, we'll be out of the fields for a couple of hours until it dries up unless we're planning on making mud of it so we'll get everything ready we'll get the trailer on the tractor we'll get the harvester out and all going well it won't rain too heavy and we'll be able to get into the fields guys so for now we're going to call it here and we'll be back when we are ready and hopefully harvesting later on today so guys as always this is from 86 this has been Bally Spring thanks very much for watching guys see you all again